One of the reasons we're here is that we have to understand, and this is a statement every pastor in here, I believe, can relate to. The tithe cannot take us to where we want to go. You just can't do it, y'all. And we need to really understand in reality, the tithe really just keeps the mortgage paid. If it does that, it pays the, uh, the staff when we have that gas and electric. But if we're talking about really doing some progressive work in ministry, tithe in this season, it just will not do it. I believe that we got to do more than just uh, teach people about having a, a, a heavenly home. We got to encourage them how they can pay off their earthly house. I believe without a question that five links, not the only one, we came up here in different cars. I believe that five links is one of the companies that God has raised up in this season to bring about what we've been teaching and preaching over the years, and that is the transfer of wealth in our generation. I believe it. Hi, my name is Dorothy Jones. I'm a Five Links rep. I'm from the Chicagoland area. I've been in the business for about 13 months, and I joined because I was overworked, underpaid, and my job wasn't that secure, and I knew that I needed another stream of income. I'm right now an executive director, but next Friday, after all the points go active, I expect it to be a national director. Um, I'm here at the pastoral brunch, and it was a lovely event. I'm looking forward to the next one. I think a lot of pastors got a lot of fresh new ideas on how to do fundraisers for their church. I don't know what you teach at your church, but I believe that 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 everybody's supposed to be blessed and everybody's supposed to be prospering, especially those who teach and preach prosperity. I believe that. You go back to Genesis, in Genesis chapter uh, 2, before uh, when God set Adam in the garden and gave him a job, there were four streams that came into the garden. I believe that every single person ought to have four streams that are coming into your garden. And I determined that Five Links is getting ready to be one of my major streams coming into my garden. Number one prayer at the, po at the altar, healing of the pocketbook. And then without knowledge, I say, you need to go get a job. Now knowing what you know now, we need to find a new way. Is that okay? We have to make sure we don't have poverty theology with a prosperous God. And this is a vehicle that help us teach prosperity, not from the bad way, but we need to be reemployed because we can't allow our financial future to be in the hands of someone else. Over the last 30 years, we've seen dramatic shifts of income from one utility, one company, to many who had business mindsets. 30 years ago, I worked for AT&T. Anyone heard of AT&T? They were competing with IBM to make computers bigger. They had computers bigger than this room that could barely count a lollipop. So Bill Gates came along, he was Billy Gates back then, and he said, smaller would be better, software would be more important than hardware. AT&T missed it, I missed it, and that's probably why I'm doing a presentation here today. <laughs> Followed the wrong vision. But we know the PC industry changed people's lives. He wasn't even first, he just caught the wave and dominated because he understood it's all about distribution, not invention. Hopefully you all caught that. Because you are here, I am here to distribute the word. Hi, I'm Pastor Barbara Barron of Kingdom Living Ministries, located in Chicago, Illinois. I attended the Five Link Faith-Based Initiative today, a breakfast that was held to give us information about opportunities to uh, use electronics and software and some of the, the systems and things that we use every day in our life to make life easier. I found this opportunity to be a tremendous blessing. I'm sure you will too if you learn more about it. I've been in ministry 20 years and have been able to spread the word nationally and internationally. I've traveled to Africa, South Africa and Namibia. But this opportunity looks like something that we really need to be sharing, not just here but abroad with so many families, so many pastors. I invite you to learn more about the Five Link system. I guarantee you it will change your life, and I'm looking forward to the changes it will bring in my life as well. Five Links is leading the deregulation of energy. We weren't the first. We had a couple of companies get in, open up two states, and almost made a billion dollars in four years. We saw that. We knew we had better systems, so Five Links plan was to be the number one energy company with the biggest footprint. So in 12 months, we are now in 12 states, while the other companies are still in two or three. So we have a vision, we have a plan, and we're just looking for a few who can see. 
What a great event. We are just finishing up here. The first, I don't know if I want to say annual or monthly. I don't know. We may do it every month. First pastoral brunch that we had here in Chicago, and it was a huge success. We had close to 70 people in the room that got an unbelievable presentation by Senior Vice President Extraordinaire, SVP John Jones, as well as Platinum Senior Vice President Frank Kimbrough. And we also had Apostle H. Daniel Wilson, who gave his personal testimony from the National Convention. And I'll tell you the truth, the room was, um, I mean, immediately into what Five Links was all about. So I'm excited to know what's gonna happen next. And um, just to know this is our first event, we're looking forward to the next one. And uh, just to know that um, the team all came out, all had uh, their pastors and people in ministry in their lives. And I believe that we're gonna be able to touch a lot of lives and transform uh, people's financial future with this opportunity through people in the ministry. What about you, Frank? What do you think about that? Uh, well, I feel like that definitely it was one of the um, greatest events I've ever been involved with just to understand, first of all, the need of the ministry and some of the issues that are being um, raised in the, um, in, in the church about financial needs and also about financial need, not only for the church, but financial needs for the people in the congregation. I think that issue was addressed today. I feel like um, my mentor, John O. Jones, gave a phenomenal illustration of what you need to do in order to give the answer to what um, uh, what we call in a great recession has brought upon us. And and I just want to give it up also to H. Daniel Wilson for definitely apostle for, first of all, standing up and sharing his true testimony from what he saw from the National Convention as well as um, what he have already seen success here in the company. And I'm just excited to see as many and more of these types to come in the near future, whether, like you said, whether they're monthly, uh, quarterly, or definitely quarterly, and I wouldn't say yearly, because as we see, there's a need out there that we're reaching to address. So I look forward to the next one.